Okay, so uh, lots of weather on, on the screen to uh, watch for today. It looks like uh, mostly light and moderate rain. We'll do our best to uh, keep clear of that to protect this, uh, this beautiful paint job. Right now, I'm entering the flight plan in the uh, in the Avidyne IFD 550, and it's it's uh, it's amazing the geofill feature of this. It has logic that it knows what the next waypoint is likely to be. So um, my first waypoint is uh, the EMI, the Westminster VOR. I just click E, and it fills in the rest. Project information: Delta SM one six four seven zero one zero two zero five. Visibility two miss. Ceiling 300 overcast, temperature 182.17, altimeter 3006. Number 260, Michael Frederick Tower, proceed direct Westminster, runway 5, cleared for takeoff. Here comes the 1,000 foot marker, and we are off about 100 feet before. Climb and maintain 4,000. Roger, up to 4,260, Michael. This airplane is going to be nice and clean when we bring it back because it's um, getting a fair amount of rain. The airplane in front of us is uh, on the approach into Frederick. We'll see see if he gets in or not. You can see him on the uh, on the traffic screen as well. 260, Mike Golf, maintain 3 to establish some local as a clear ILS 2 3 approach. Roger, down to 3,000 and cleared for the approach to maintain 3,000 until established. 260, Mike Golf. I see this one area of heavy rain very close to our route, so I'm going to hope we can uh, avoid that and I can steer a little bit right for that for that reason. Atomic approach, November 4, Gulf, 9 or 4, Gulf Sierra, 1600, climbing 3000 into turn, EMI, missed approach. Frederick Tower, Experimental 260, Mike Golf is, uh, is 7 miles out on the ILS runway 23. 260, Mike Golf, Frederick Tower, Roger, report Ricky. Report Ricky, 260, Michael. Okay, ILS is active. We've got green needles. And we're just going to follow that. Um, we, we're nav and vertical nav. Glide slope is captured. And we're just going to follow this down. 260, Michael. Ricky, inbound. 260, Michael. Roger, reported two mile final. 260, Michael will come. Okay, so the, the autopilot is flying the airplane. And we're... Um, it's tracking the localizer and the glide slope just perfectly. Airspeed is uh, 87 knots, right, right about where we want it to be. We'll slow to, uh, typically we slow to about 80, 80 on um, short final. So here the, the, uh, the autopilot's doing a good job of just putting the flight path marker on the runway symbol. And if it does that, then, um, then the needles just kind of align themselves. Okay, coming up on minimums, 100 feet to go. Here come our minimums. Minimums. N260, my golf is executing the missed approach. Roger, execute your climb out instructions, contact Potomac approach. 260, my golf. Okay, full power. Climb. 797, contact departure 125.5. And it's uh, it's G GPS guidance right now. We're following the uh, you know magenta arrow and magenta signals. Departure one two five point six five. And then we'll uh, we'll it'll automatically switch over to green needles as as we um, get established on the approach and proceed inbound. Approach experimental two six zero. Mike Golf is a direct numby for the ILS runway two three at Frederick. Airman 260, Mike Golf, Roger, you're about four from Numby, cross Numby at uh, 3000, cleared ILS approach, runway 23, Frederick. Cross Numby at 3000, cleared ILS, runway 23, approach at Frederick, 260, Mike Golf. It looks like we're, we're the, the worst of the weather is, is uh, behind. Autopilot's on the airplane, 3000. Minimum altitude is set. Frederick Tower, Terminal 260, Mike Golf. Numby inbound on the ILS 23 approach. Terminal 260, Mike Golf, Frederick Tower, report Ricky inbound. Roger, report Ricky, and this will be a full stop if we're able to get in. Roger. Okay, got the uh, green needles coming in. The new aid is code of information echo, visibility is two and one half miles missed, ceiling 300 overcast, altimeter 3005. A new altimeter. There, I was 3005. OK, 
Okay, so that's still uh, a little bit below the, uh, the actual minimums. We'll we'll go ahead and take a look. But um, I am all I'm anticipating a missed approach. And this approach has the lowest minima of any of the uh, the approaches at this airport. So um, we can't get in on this one. We can't if this if we can't get in on the the ILS. We really can't get in. Two six zero, Michael Frederick Tower, not safe from the tower. Runway two three, clear to land. Clear to land, runway two three, two six zero, Michael. Okay, lights are on. Free landing checklist complete. No pump is on. Okay, I've got a uh, uh, autopilot disconnect switch on the stick itself. So as we um, as we get down to minimums and don't see the uh, the airport, I'll go ahead and just click the autopilot off using the the um, Autopilot disconnect switch there. Okay, 800, I saw a little bit of ground contact. 500. 500 feet to go. Ground contact again. All right. Minimums. There's minimums. I still don't have a good look at the airport. Autopilot disengage. Okay, we were climbing. My golf confirm going around. Uh, yet missed approach for 260, my golf. Roger, execute um, alternate missed approach instructions. Roger, we'll, uh, we'll go with the alternative missed approach instructions now. 260, my golf. Climb to 1,300, which we've done, and then continue the climb to 3,000 direct EMI. The altitude. Two six zero, my golf contact to Potomac approach on one two five point five two. Over to Potomac one two five point five two two six zero, my golf. Approach to terminal two six zero, my golf. I'd like to try the ILS two three again at Frederick, please. Zero, my golf. Right to turn left, uh, heading three zero five zero. Left turn zero five zero two six zero, my golf. Very considerate of them to uh, give us this turn before we got in the uh, the worst weather. And I'm just flying slow out here because it's I'm, I'm uh, you know it behooves us to give the uh, the weather a little more time to improve. It was almost good enough that last time, but not quite. We're here, Mike. Off turn left, direct Numbi. Here, four from Numbi, cross Numbi, at or above three thousand, and cleared ILS from my two three approach. Direct Numbi, cross Numbi, at or above three thousand, cleared for the ILS from my two three approach. The old saying that the third time's the charm turned out to be true on this day. The weather improved enough to make a normal approach and landing on the third ILS approach to runway 23. This real-world IFR flight shows the utility of the RV-10's avionics system in keeping pilots informed about changing weather, traffic, and terrain while graphically showing the airplane's position. These digital IFR avionics reduce the workload when flying as a single pilot in IFR conditions. The equipment is robust, reliable, and redundant, and helps pilots make timely and informed decisions in every phase of flight. Dave Hirschman, AOPA Live.